In this tooling video, we'll discuss the intervention cycle. This is useful when you want to structure your project. For example, when you are working on a business case for your company or in general when dealing with problems that look for a solution. The intervention cycle consists of two parts. The problem and the solution. And this consists of six stages. On one side, problem identification, problem analysis and problem definition. And on the other side, redesign, implementation and monitoring, and evaluation. On one side, problem identification, problem analysis, and problem definition. And on the other side, redesign, implementation and monitoring, and evaluation. In the problem identification, you'll be dealing with identifying the problem owners. In many problems, there are multiple owners. They have their own perceptions of the problem, the solution, and the pros and cons of the solution. Identify the problem by looking, listening, reading and asking questions. Be open-minded. The second part of the problem is problem analysis. You should investigate and analyse all the relevant aspects of the problem. In stage 2, the result of stage 1 is broadened and deepened. When the problem analysis is not broad or deep enough, it is possible that important aspects of the problem and its possible solutions are not taken into account, such that the intervention itself may be a failure or at least may be suboptimal. The problem definition describes the problem in more depth with the help of the results of the second stage. This description will normally be both broader and deeper than the problem as was identified in stage 1. It should include a description of the goals that a solution should realise and all the criteria that should be satisfied by that solution. If there is no clarity about the goals to be achieved and of unintended effects to be avoided, then you cannot evaluate how successful your redesign and implementation will be. The first part of the solution side is the redesign. The redesign may refer to different types of entities. Usually, a combination of these must be redesigned to realise the goals. To implement your design, you need an implementation plan. There are other, usually practical issues apparent when you want to realise your design. Monitoring of both desired effects and undesired side effects should also be implemented together with the redesign itself. Hence, monitoring may also need to be designed. In this stage, the effects of the implementation are evaluated. Two questions are essential here. Firstly, have the goals been realised, or to what extent have the goals been realised? And secondly, have any undesired effects occurred? The answers to both questions must then finally be combined in order to come to an overall evaluation, which can then provide input for a reiteration of the intervention cycle. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next tooling video.